All right, this is going to be take one on on a message, kind of a serious message. Okay. Dealing with the yeah, thank you. <laughs> dealing. Thank you for taking this seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Dealing with like, what should I do with my life? What is yeah. my mission? What is my job? What is my passion? So this is kind of hard for me to communicate because I feel like it's coming from my fake TI. I'm like, I've, I've been able to oh. answer this for myself in my sure. own journey. And it's kind of hard, like, eh, I don't really want to tell somebody how to live their life or how to make their decisions. But like, I've definitely been able to answer this for myself. Sharing on, like, introverted functions. Right. Yeah. What do I do with my, my mission and my passion in my life? And yeah. like, you know, so I want to kind of break down this to be of any help to any young kid. There's a lot of people we talk to that are asking this kind of question. Right, right. right. So, preface all that. Here's what works for me. Please take all this advice, throw it in the trash can, take what you can, right? <laughs> all right, so when trying to answer the question of what should I do in life? What is my mission? What is my passion? It's kind of coming from the old 1980s rhetoric of like, what are you going to be when you grow up, Johnny? Right. And so I think the question itself that is in kind of all of our heads especially our generation. It's a flawed question. I think it's a flawed question. Yeah. Because it's like, I want to be a fireman. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be Lady Gaga. So, okay, let's say... <laughs> you do. <laughs> you actually, well, you know, say you pull it off. Right. Uh, did the other 999% of people, were they able to do that? It's not working for everyone. It's not working at scale. Yeah. Um, and then let's say you are, you become a astronaut fireman or whatever, and then the Chinese robots put you out of business in 10 years. <laughs> Because now they have astronaut firemen. <laughs> I too want to be an astronaut fireman. Yeah, and so like n now you're now you're 50, and you're you got to ask this question all over again. And then also like, is it really fulfilling that your identity and your calling in life is in your job? You, that that you know like just it starts when you really start to think it through. If you got what you're asking for, right? Like if you if you came to somebody and said, you know, hey, Mr. Wizard, what should I be? What sh what's my mission? And they're like, you know what? We've done all the research. We know your personality type. Here is exactly what you need to do. This is going to be perfect. <laughs> this fits your type perfect. And there's a need for it, and it pays $200,000 a year. Here you go. <laughs> You'll never have to do your demons ever. You're golden. <laughs> Even if you got that, you'd fuck it up. That's, so, you know? Yeah. So is this the right question we should be asking ourselves? Mm. I don't think so. Because I'm in the same boat as you. Right. You may be 25 years right. old trying to figure out your mission. Look, I'm 41. 20 years from now, both you and me are probably not going to be doing the exact same thing we think we're going to be doing. Like right, right. You and I are both going to be in the same place 20 years from now. We're going to be going, what do I do next? Yeah. Where can I grow? Where can I give? Where can I pay my bills? And if you're investing in yourself of like, I'm learning to put time in my demons to where I am the thing that can find and provide value no matter where. Yeah. What happens is this, I found. Opportunity starts knocking on your door in a larger so volume true. than you can deal with. Yep. Because people are like, wait a minute, you know systems because you worked at McDonald's for six months and you started to figure out systems and then you can help me with my sandwich shop over right, here. Right. Wait, you know how to show up on time because you worked at Target and uh, I've now quit and I'm the boss, blah, blah, blah. My cousin right. saw that you were always there on right. time and we're looking for a guy in our startup who's always there on time. You know what I mean? Right, because otherwise you're just a guy that shows up at a workplace that is <laughs> like, make the job comfortable for me, make the position work for me, make sure I don't have to do my demons in any way, shape or form. And so you're kind of like attacking Attaching yourself to that job, and then if that job ever goes away, all of those perfect right. kind of corners that were taken care of for you are now gone, and then what are you left with? Like, right. what skills are you actually building into yourself that you could take anywhere you go? Exactly. So that's how I'm looking at it now. I look at my life more like a battleship. Oh. Like... I am here to build up Dave, build up Shan, yeah, build up my team, right. build up how to use a microphone, how to right. use a keyboard, how to use all the different aspects of my battleship. Therefore, I can set sail in the world, mm -hmm. in the world of time mm -hmm. and the future and different countries and challenges. And people can call upon me like, hey, we need help over here. There's an opportunity over here. There's value over here. There's a problem to be solved. And I can move my ship that yeah. direction and get into YouTube for a while and then psychology and then right. this and then that and start right. an eBay business because people start calling you. Right. right, right. When your outside environment changes, it's okay. Like the sensory literally will actually change because your inner world, the hero's journey, you've been building your identity. For me, I started very simple. I looked at my life like a little canoe where like, hey, I got to own my NF. I got to own my ST. I got to own my tribe. I got to own my, my functions. Using the eight functions, the human needs or whatever going, all right, I rock it on my saviors, but can I be trusted to some degree yeah. on my demons yeah. to where now as I'm getting older, life looks a little bit more like a battle 
battleship where there's more departments to own. So here's some images of kind of what I pictured in my mind when I was starting kind of a very simple boat. That's cool. And as I'm getting older, I'm trying to like envision and focus something more like an aircraft carrier where I've got a team and I got right. lots of different more working parts. More complicated. But yeah. I own all of these different That's parts, really cool. and we as a team and a business can go out and take on whatever life's challenges are in 20 yeah. years, right? Yeah. So I also found a video that really encapsulated what my boat looked like okay. when I started off. Okay. All right. Please right. don't laugh because if you laugh, you lose. Oh, okay. <laughs> No. Where do I find these? <laughs>